Hey Bobs, today we're reviewing Superman vs. The Elite. Now, if you haven't seen it, uh, it's definitely a good anime movie in their series. DC's cracking out anime uh, series on their popular uh, licenses, like there's no tomorrow. They're just cracking them out. Every time a new one comes out, there's a special on a new one coming out soon. Um, Marvel is uh, having trouble keeping up in this area, and uh, so far DC has a lot of good uh, enemies out there that are pretty good. And this was actually another good solid entry. There are a few in their entry that makes you go, wasn't that good, could have done better. This is definitely a good solid one. It's based on one of their uh, comics. Uh, basically, it's uh, questioning Superman and his morals, and can they live in the society today? Uh, Manchester Black, and uh, he has uh, these different morals, Superman. Basically, he wants to help uh, the world or everything like Superman, but his is. Uh, if you do bad, they'll kill you. There's no line, they'll cross it. They don't line themselves with anybody. They don't work for any government. They just, basically they do for do everything they can to basically humankind, but with their sick twisted view on how justice should be. Superman uh, basically has trouble trying to relate with the, what he's trying to do and his morals of being, get the guy, put him in jail, that's it, let justice do its thing. And he's having trouble dealing with what he does and saying, is it past my time? Is the world going to a place that he can't be? And uh, you watch and you see Superman deal with this issue of uh, who he is and what he stands for. And is what he's standing for no longer the uh, thing that the world needs anymore. And, you know, Manchester Black and his people, you know, basically answer that and say, hey, you can't cross the line, you kill these people. No worry, people will still love you. Will they? Will they really, really love you? Um, that is the question in the whole thing. And basically, you know, it's a really good, solid story. Um, Superman had to deal with his issues and and how to basically show the world that there is a line that we cannot cross, and we have to stay on the right of justice, no matter what. Um, so all in all, uh, this is a straight-to-video anime. Uh, if you haven't seen it, definitely buy it. It's definitely worth buying. Check it out. Uh, if you have kids who love those romance movies, this is a little bit more... This has a little adult language in it. There are a few deaths in the movie. Um, so, you know, I would say definitely for tone up, nothing a little bit under, because, well, you know, just basically judge it on your own for your own kids, because some of the stuff they have in here, you're just like, yeah, I can't have my kid watch that. Uh, there's mild language, you know animated violence as always in these superhero movies. It's definitely one to buy. Uh, if you can, definitely buy it. Uh, they also have uh, one where you can buy it with a little figure at uh, Best Buy. I don't know if they have any more. I don't know if they have any at Walmart or anything like that. Uh, if you want to get it with the figure, I know DC has been coming out with a lot of their t um, animated movies with little figures with it. Um, Under the Red Hood came with one, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, Batman. So basically, you know, they have their own little line, and you know, you collect them all. Have your own little figurines stand up next to your computer desk, your cool at work, or anywhere you want them. Uh, this is definitely so. Basically, buy this movie for any comic book fans out there, for any guys who uh, like animated movies and stuff like that. Check it out, see if you like it. Uh, but I do recommend you should buy it. Um, in a few weeks, uh, Dark Knight's coming out, so you know, with this one, they have a. Uh, Special little feature of a new animated movie called Dark Knight Returns Part 1. It's an animated series based on a Frank Miller comic book. Um, if you've read it, you know what it's about. If not, basically it's about Batman. He quits. gives up. Uh, Commissioner Gordon's on his way to uh, basically retire. And Batman is doing, well, Bruce is doing whatever he can to end his life on a high note. But, you know, to his avail, nothing happens. He ends up going back against Batman. Followed by a female Robin. Yeah, I didn't stutter. You didn't hear it wrong. A female Robin. Um, if you want, buy the comic book. Uh, read it, but it's definitely coming out soon. And uh, they did promise that there will be a sequel follow-up to it. They'll be working on that, I guess, as soon as they finish up the production of part one. The, the, it looks like it's going to be a really good one. Uh, the animation looks a little off. Uh, if you're a big fan of uh, Frank Miller's artwork, that's how Batman's going to look. I'm not a big fan. I'll check it out. Um... But yeah, so coming up are more reviews. Uh, I have another review coming up for uh, That's My Boy. 
Uh, stay tuned for that later. Alright, see you guys later. Leave a comment, like if you do, subscribe to our channel. We have more reviews coming up.